Hey there, Magic One. Just before we get into your tarot reading, I wanted to jump in super quick, I promise, just with a few announcements for you. Should you want to arrange a personal reading or healing for yourself, you can do so at any time by either clicking the link to my website down below or visiting wildlotustarot.com. I do have a new little offering which I think is, is kind of cute. It's actually the most affordable way to get guidance from me and in that reading I draw you a single tarot card from the beautiful Star Child Tarot and write you a handwritten letter about my interpretation of that card for you and I post it to your letterbox. You can now show your support by becoming a member of my channel. If you head to my channel page and click the join button, there's a video there where I describe in detail what I'm offering for my two different levels of membership. Don't forget the doors are always open to the initiation. That is my immersive learn tarot journey. You can sign up at any time and receive lifetime access to all of the learning materials, videos, online learning modules, practices. Uh, and in that course, I, I am teaching my signature process to learn how to read tarot, not just from the head, but from the heart um, and go beyond the traditional card meanings and, and how to put it all together and thread it into a story as well. So that's available at any time. I'll also link that down below for you. You can find me on Instagram if you'd like to stay connected and hear a little bit more about me. Uh, you can find the link down below or you can find me at wild underscore lotus underscore tarot. I would love to have you over there with me as well. Till next time, sending you so much love and magic. Let's get on with your reading. Aries, welcome to your tarot reading for June 27th through to July the 3rd. Let's see what may be on the cards for you this week. Aries, we have the nine card block here, three recent past, three focus energy, three future outcome. Oracles lead tarot energy are turned over the bottom of the deck to reveal this big old tower. But rest assured, Aries, we've got two aces. We have a knight of cups. So I think there's a lot to be excited about in this reading, but it does feel like quite pivotal and fundamental change for you. I'm an Aries as well. So I am looking at this reading going, what does this all mean? We will find out. We'll work through it. Okay. The first oracle out is right action. This is actually the first time I've pulled this card from the, the Divine Abundance deck from Tosha Silver. I've had it for a couple of months now. Now this here, it says, um, this literally means let everything that wants to go, go. And everything that wants to come, come. So this is an energy of surrender, which is interesting because the Moonology card says take time to breathe out. And if we think about the action of breathing out, it is the sign of relief. It is the releasing breath of what we have been holding within us being sent back out, back into the ether. Okay. So I feel like something that you might have been holding tight, holding close to you, um, you know, fighting for, trying to keep together, that really needs to leave your life. And it's saying it's time for you to breathe that out and release it. And I feel like that whole uh, metaphor that we've just spoken of is represented by these two cards down here. The allow what wants to come to come, Knight of Cups, allow what needs to go, go, the death card. And look at the imagery, so similar. So we have this kind of sliding doors action here. We'll get to that. Leto energy is 10 of wands. Again, I can't think of a better card to, to sum up what we've just spoken about. This is the energy of release. Releasing a heavy weight, a heavy burden, uh, something that you've maybe been trying to balance, something you've been trying to push for, that the universe is saying, you know what, that, that heavy load isn't yours to carry anymore. In fact, I want to take it away from you the tower. So it feels like this is not your load to carry anymore. Um, and you're being released from that through a tower moment, which can feel chaotic. Now, the 10 of wands can be an energy of overwork, um, too much responsibility, accountability, being the one that does all the work, holding maybe a heavy secret, truth, information. It could have been stress from, you know, a monetary situation. I've got the five of pentacles here. Um, it feels like that situation is ending, right? 
and it could be ending through some kind of chaotic means but we have all of this new energy coming in to to shift the way i'm surprised the wheel of fortune's not here aries maybe we'll pull it when we hit these cards here so the universe is saying that what this is attached to is a tower a situation that's not meant to be in your life anymore you may have outgrown it it might just be that it's you know it's stopping you from really um unlocking or, or living your true potential here and through an act of love and grace from the universe the universe is bringing that down okay now if we try and patch up the the tower and hold on to this and struggle and fight for it even more generally we go back around and then we end up back at the tower sometimes with escalated stakes um, generally when the tower energy comes in the areas we we, we need to let it you know burn to the ground and rise from the ashes like that phoenix into a whole new chapter a whole new rebirth so that's what i feel you know is going on here now um i'm going to jump around a bit i'm just going to deal with that five of pentacles because it feels like it feels like you know what we need to address here and i think this is the situation that's either created where you are or that has kept you in it it's a feeling of lack it's a feeling of you know fight flight or freeze or scarcity so it could have been a situation where you know you just were in survival mode or you just had to keep pushing with something and you couldn't literally pause for one moment or drop the ball you know um but the universe is bringing in a new opportunity unexpectedly and it's like you will need to take a pause from this kind of being on the treadmill action in order to say yes to it, which could cause you some worry. It's like, well, how can I make this transition, you know? Um, but the universe is saying, you know, this is the very thing that's going to allow you to heal out of that pattern. So I'm feeling that. Um, with the double aces and the page of cups here, Aries, I feel like this is a synchronistic, unexpected opportunity coming your way. Um, the page of cups can mean that this may have you, you know, heading in some kind of different direction for you. The page of cups is very much for me an energy of what you wouldn't have looked at, what you didn't expect happening, um, a total different, you know, different change or different, um, you know, it could be moving to a different place that's completely something you didn't think about. This could be in work, career. It's, you know, the place that you wouldn't have looked was the place that held the key is what I'm feeling here. Um, in terms of signs here, I have Sagittarius with Temperance. I have the uh, Aquarian energy here with the King of Swords. I have Pisces with the Knight of Cups. I have Scorpio with the Death card. So you've got this opportunity here, which feels like it's much more aligned with your truth. And it really is the victory for you because it is full of potential for growth, for expansion, to allow you to get back into a place of stability again, mentally, emotionally, physically spiritually and i'm hearing financially as well and it feels very much heaven sent it feels very much guided for you and it's really unlocking a whole new path okay it's like a new that new dawn that new day energy and we see the we see the king's crown in this what you know should be a sun um so it feels like this is going to crown you in your king power you know, I'm back in a position of authority in my life. I'm back in a position of leadership. I am making mature decisions here to guide myself and my life forward. And we also see the king's crown here. So interesting. King of Swords is the decision-making energy. And it really asks you to take, like, zoom right out, get an eagle eye perspective, and make a strategic decision. So like I mentioned before, I have a feeling that there might be a component of like, I can't even stop what I'm doing for five minutes to even consider this opportunity, or there might be a little bit of work that you need to put in to gain it, um, which could be true, you know, but you'll find a way. And the King of Swords says, take a step back and see the big picture that should you be successful in this or say yes to it, then it's going to far outweigh and override and help you heal and balance from this situation anyway it's going to help you transform things okay and you know sever ties with a path of poverty or struggle or you know just very very hard work or burnout something like that this is potentially the right action that you need to take at the right time Aries to change the game to change the game of life for you so down here, I've got these two figures, Knight of Cups, Death, Two of Pentacles. And, 
you know, it feels like in order to allow this opportunity in, we have to pass through the death energy and, you know, coming back to this card, you know, let everything that wants to go, go and everything that wants to come, come. Well, what is it that needs to go in order to make space for this? Because death is about the clearing away of the old. It is the pruning of the, you know, the, the dead wood and things that are dying away so that you can plant the seeds of the new. Um, again, we see this rising sun energy indicating that you are overcoming a great challenge with this and moving into a very positive direction. But of course, we have to go through this challenging bit, um, this tricky time in order to create the energetic conditions, the space for this Knight of Cups to come in. Now, this is something uh, very new coming in. The Knight of Cups shows me that it's not like a an extension of the old or a reconnection. Um, this feels like something completely new, okay, that you hadn't considered before, that you potentially didn't know about, you weren't even looking for, and here it is. Now, the Two of Pentacles is here, and it, it is going to leave you weighing up and, and making decisions because of whatever it feels like you need to take a step back from or, you know, because of this energy, because of this fear of lack, this, you know, immediate fear of lack, you know, there's, there is a way for you to fill that gap so that you don't have to allow that to be part of the, what makes you say no, okay? Because the universe is really trying to, to, to I think, navigate you in the direction of these new beginnings so emotions will be high it feels like you might be a little bit unsteady while you make this decision but it just feels like it's all right lined up for you Aries that's too many high priestess yeah I mean the key is really how do you feel about this what is your intuition telling you because you might not have all of the detail right but it just feels like this is heaven sent and in alignment with your truth nine of swords yeah you are going to be doing some some stressing and thinking about this but try not to get caught up in the mind energy the mental overwhelm the intuition that's that's the that, that's the two opposites intuition and in mind there we need to use a combination, Seven of Cups. Otherwise, there can be, you know, overwhelm here or confusion because it feels like this offers the potential for a lot of different possibilities, Five of Wands. Um, yeah, I just feel like that you are genuinely very conflicted over this, Aries. Let's do these last three since they've jumped out on the spread. Ten of Cups, Four of Cups, Eight of Wands. Yeah, so I can see that you are so conflicted about this. Um, it feels from the perspective of the King of Swords that it's a no-brainer, but there is this real survival energy over it that I think is outweighing that for you. Okay, I've pulled the Eight of Wands, the Four of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. The Eight of Wands is directional change. It's usually my energy of you know, doing a 180, not a 360, but going in a completely different direction. Maybe even like relocation could be a part of it for some of you as well. So I can see why you would feel so torn because, you know, if it is a completely new direction, it's you, you feel like there are no guarantees. You don't really have that, you know, you don't have that vision exactly how it's going to turn out, but that is part of the lesson, part of the learning here. Four of Cups, Ten of Cups. Now, you know, you can stay where you are now, but I feel like the Four of Cups is, you know, part of that energy of almost needing to grit your teeth, uh, numb out and just get on with it, you know, and, and maybe that will continue working for you in some way, but you will stay in the Five of Pentacles energy, right? Fight, flight, freeze on the treadmill, emotionally disconnected. What is on offer is the Ten of Cups, and this is the energy of blessed, best life living. Um, whatever that means for you, because it will be different for you. But of course, the pathway to get here is twist is full of twists and turns, and it feels like this is some kind of divine 
um, redirectional intervention towards it and we have to recognize the right actions and we have to recognize when it's time to let everything that wants to go go and everything that wants to come come and not allow ourselves and our own energy and our fears and sometimes you know confusion to be the block to moving in a positive new direction Aries, that's what I have for you. I'll be pondering this one after the reading as well. Um, do keep in mind that it is a general reading for the collective. I'm reading an energetic pattern. It can apply to different areas of your life and it may not apply to you at all this week. Uh, drop me a comment if you're called to share. I read them all. I try to connect with you all over there as well. Uh, hit subscribe. Only 30% of you that watch my videos are subscribers. It does make a big difference. I would love it if you can hit the button and in return I will keep the readings coming. Coming. Wishing you so much love and magic, Aries. Do take care. Bye for now.